It is Monday morning. Uh, no, it. Hold. Hold. It's Tuesday morning. Holy shit. I feel rough, man. We didn't even play video games that long last night. And I feel rough today. But, uh, yeah. Just didn't want to get out of bed because you were so comfy. <sighs> anyway, I got to go to work today. So, that sucks. So, we'll go into work and get the day over with. I'm just reading, uh, my buddy Tractor Face sent me the manual for my, uh, my mower to show me how to adjust the carb. And it's, um, it's interesting. Um, I got an idea of stuff that I need to do a uh, non-adjustable idle mixture jet if it's not adjustable why are you telling me that um, sorry I'm just reading this bullshit to see what the cock is really going on and so far it just looks like you adjust the idle speed screw that's all you touch so that's kinda boring I was kind of hoping there was a high-low friggin make it go to adjust the fuel mixture so that it's actually getting fuel properly. So far the only thing I see, I do see the non-adjustable idle mixture jet, but it doesn't say at any given time to touch that. So this is cocked. Oh, whatever. So yeah, let me show you this here. So that's basically like a line drawing of the, of the carburetor, right? So on the side there. Uh, there's the throttle. You see the throttle lever? And I did see that screw. For the idle speed screw. I did see that one. But I didn't know that this one here on the front, just below the fuel pump, was a non-adjustable idle fuel mixture jet. But it's not adjustable. Therefore, you do not adjust it. I thought that was the screw I took out to drain the bowl. No, that's on to, to the right. To the right of that and to the right of that location where you put the fuel line onto. There's a jet in there. Now, I was watching a video last night, and the guy took that thing off the side, and he unscrewed the jet and took it out. It's a pain in the ass to take it out, and it's a real pain in the ass to put it back in because it's a flathead screwdriver. And then he, uh, one of the things he recommended doing was using, like, an ultrasonic cleaner and dropping the carb in it. Now, my ultrasonic cleaner is way too small for this carb to fit in it. It would maybe go halfway, and then you put vinegar in there, and then you let her blast, and it cleans all the debris out of the carb, making it back to brand new. If I had a deeper weld ultrasonic cleaner, I totally would buy a gallon of vinegar, the double strength, and just drop the whole carb in, fuel, fuel pump and all, and let the vinegar just do its dirty and clean all the dirt out of it, because the vinegar wouldn't hurt the membrane inside of the fuel pump. It wouldn't hurt anything. It would just get all the debris to loosen up and come out. However, I don't have a deep enough weld... Uh, ultrasonic cleaner so that option is not available to me but to start up the engine let it warm up approximately five minutes before adjusting with the engine running place the throttle in the slow position uh, rotate the carburetor level against the idle speed uh, turn idle speed to obtain 1500 to 1600 rpm how the hell do you know if it's running at 1500 1600 rpm you can't tell is it spinning that's all you know like uh, how do you gauge that just if it's running smooth you're good I don't know. I really don't know. There's got to be something I missed in tuning up this car. There's got to be. But anyway, people, i got to head off to work. So let's pitter patter and have at her. Alrighty, let's hit the road and get on with this day. I don't know if those idle screws... i got to check the comments on the video today, too, to see what people say. See what they can uh, tell me. <clears throat> Won't be doing that till I get home. That's for sure. Once I enter the office, all communication with the outside world ceases to exist. She is going to storm something fierce today. Holy crap. Wow. Alright, let's get the freak out of here. Alright, let's go put in our time. You know, I swear this place, the reason why they don't give us any sort of communication with the outside world is so that we don't go ahead and look for jobs while we're at work. That's why they don't want us to have our cell phones on the office or in the in the building. It's that we can't look for other jobs during break and lunchtime. 
because they fucking know everybody there well. Like, it's so bad. It's so bad. And I know for a fact a lot of you have done this job. A lot of you worked in a call center. And a lot of you have probably gone batshit crazy. Some of you probably aren't even watching this right now because you're in an asylum. Who knows? But, yeah, it's not the exact awesome line of work, you know? It's stressful. It's demoralizing. And in the end, they pay you just a little bit over minimum wage just so you think you're doing better than everybody who working at McDonald's or pouring cups of coffee at Horton's. But in reality, and just to prove this point, is one of the guys who was with me in the, in the uh, previous program who went over to this new program, when he went over to the new program, he quit and took a job at Wendy's because Wendy's flipping burgers and dealing with the customer in a fast food restaurant is less stressful than working at a call center and he's making a dime less an hour but that doesn't matter because he doesn't have to deal with the public in an irate way and that's the problem with call centers in general and people who call in like once you've worked in a call center there's a seldom chance that you'll ever call into a call center get a person on the other end of the phone and just start being irate and bitchy and assholey towards them because you remember what it's like being that person on the other end of the phone and you just won't do it you'll have respect you'll be like listen it's not this person's fault this person's just the guy they put in front of the bullet he's just the messenger you know he's not the one calling the shots he's like the bottom of the barrel he's that slop at the bottom that nobody ever wants to eat you know like when you make chili but you leave it on the stove too long and you get that disgusting shit crust at the bottom of the chili pot yeah that's the call center employee He's that crust. Nobody wants to eat it. Everybody wants to just toss it. So, like, I've called in to my current ISP and asked them, like, WTF, because apparently my internet has caps now. And even though the person on the other end was fighting me about what, why they have internet caps and that data is expensive to create, and I just couldn't stop laughing about that, I had to explain to her exactly what data is and what bandwidth is, and I used the, the whole highway comparison and explain how congestion works and all that. I said, you know, oil, uh, bandwidth isn't a commodity you create. It's not like, you know, oil, where you're pumping it out of the ground and selling it, or pumping it out and refining it into gasoline. It's not an expendable resource. Data is literally packets going from one network card bouncing off relays to boost its signal quality so it can get to the destination. It's, it's no different than back in the day when you used to tie a tin can to a rope and to another tin can and you would talk to it and the sound would travel down the rope. It worked great at short distances, but once it got really far away, if that string wasn't perfectly taut, then the sound never made it, right? So you use a wider piece of rope, really taut, and oh my goodness, now the sound can travel forever. That's how bandwidth works. She basically told me, she's like, well, this is what it is, and if you want unlimited, it's an extra $15 a month. I was like, holy fuck, like, when I bought the internet package, I was told it's going to be the same, it's going to be three times faster than my old setup, everything else stays the same. And I thought, okay, that means it's going to be unlimited usage. Pull the wools over my eyes, they changed the company name and fucked the packages up. Almost tempted to call Kojiko and say, hey, is your uh, fiber unlimited? What's your speeds like? Yeah, hook a brother up, you know? Because on the previous program I was at, working at the call center I work at, I was getting Bell discounts because I was part of a Bell program, if you will. But the current program I'm on has nothing to do with telephones or internet or, or satellite TV or anything. So I don't get those awesome deals anymore. And now I gotta pay full price for my internet. So that sucks, like, Having to pay full price? Yeah, bullshit. They already ripped you off enough. Even with the discount, it was still a rip off. So it is what it is, I guess. Anyway, see what we work uh, today. They gave me Monday off. That must mean I'm working on the weekends. If I have to find that out. Son of a bitch. Really, really, really thought I was gonna have weekends off. Taking that's the the main reason why I took this program was for weekends off. The moment I found out you're out of there by 8 o'clock at night every night 
and you got weekends off, I thought, yay, we can now do the, the Saturday Night Live streams with the guys and have a good time and not deal with bullshit and have to get off at like 11 o'clock or midnight on a Saturday and then come home and do a stream for a little bit because I got to be back in there at 1 p.m. on Sunday to work till 10, you know? Nope. They warned us in training that the weekends are probably going to be a thing. And I got a little nervous about it. And then, uh, sure enough, I talked to a previous person who trained on the course and they said, Oh yeah, no, no, they do that in every course just to get you ready for it. Because, you know, call centers, everything changes all the time. It's a rapidly changing industry. The only thing that doesn't change is the rate of pay. And I was like, oh, okay, well, right on. Um, then that's cool. But whatever. Anyway, people, I'm almost at work. So I'm going to shut her down here. And I'll chime in afterwards. So until then, peace the frig out. Alrighty guys, I just got home from work. Uh, I didn't film the drive home. I went to the grocery store. Um, looks like he's in prison again. I don't know why he chooses. What'd you do? Why are you licking your lips? Did you shit the carpet? I never checked in here. Better not to shit the carpet. Oreo? Oreo? What is that? What is that? What'd you do? There's nothing there. He just thinks he's in trouble. Um, that's a mean trick. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Sitting like a princess. Anyway. Um, I went to the grocery store on my way home. Because I wanted to pick up shit so I can start making my lunch to bring the work. Rather than buying it every day at the store. Because that's getting expensive. So I picked myself up some lunch meats and some cheese and some bread to make sandwiches. And I also picked up a bag of, of chicken. So I figure I'm going to make this tonight for dinner. And I'll tell you guys what's really going on. Just set my oven to preheat. 425. Yeah, frig. I had a horrible allergy attack at work today. Like, fucking just itchy everywhere. I got hives. It's a bad time. No bad time. Don't these look good? I got to stop this real quick. I screwed up. There we go. That's better. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to put it in for 26 minutes. We're only supposed to be in for 20 according to the thing. So I'll make some chicken. Have some chicken for supper. But, uh, sure enough, I get to work today and I check the schedule for next week. So I want to see what I work. And realized, yep, they got me in for Saturday this week. And I work Sunday this week. Lovely. And next week I have Monday and Tuesday off. So that's a thing. And then I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Monday, Tuesday off again, probably. Whole well, reason why I took this position to get weekends off. So I got a dollar an hour, uh, dollar an hour deduction off my hourly pay. I got, um, so that's every two weeks, that's like 80 bucks taken off. Uh, the program I'm on sucks. And now I gotta work weekends again. So I'm trying to figure out what the fuck are the perks of this program? What was the bonus? This program's harder, has a lot more stipulations and strictness, i.e. not allowed to have the fan at the desk, because it might be a data transfer device. Yes, that's what they told me. My fan might be a data de transfer device. That was what they came up with. It only took them two and a half weeks to figure that one out. Yeah, we've seen people wedge pen drives into those fans. Oh, really? Huh, I'm glad you see me as this high-tech engineer who's willing to do that just so I can steal all the not worth any money data off your computer. But I digress. Read through some of the comments and a lot of you were telling me things that uh, I needed to know, which is good. Some of it which I figured out last night while I was doing more research. And some of it which Tractor Face sent me information about, which is good. So I'm going to take that carb clean off. I got to do some figuring out. On when, because now I work Saturday and Sunday, my next day off is until next Monday. And while working, I don't want to be out there busting my ass in the garage. So we'll see if I have time sometime to actually uh, go out there and get shit did. But um, yeah, uh, we got a whole diet. Like some people are saying, take apart the, the uh, fuel pump, check the diaphragms because it could be a cracked or solid diaphragm that isn't pulsing. Uh, could be the main jet. Now that I know where the hell the main jet is, uh, and I know how to get to it, I should be able to get it out and then clear it. I did spray carb clean down there and fish a, a line in there to try and bust anything up. But, uh, looks like... 
I'm gonna have to shit my pants. But I'm also gonna be required to take that carb clean off. And I didn't notice the bolts, the mounting bolts in the bottom of the, uh, of the tube that goes into the engine, I guess the intake. I didn't notice those two bolts there until I edited the video last night. When I was editing the video, I saw the bolts and I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? They're right freaking there. Like, you can see them plain as day. So I could totally take that carb off and bring it to the bench and work on it. Which will make life a hell of a lot easier. So that's the battle plan. Get that thing off of the, off of the uh, tractor, get it over to the bench. And then uh, extract the old jet. I got a new jet for it. I got new springs, new everything. Like I got a new spring for the, um, for the fuel pump with uh, all new uh, diaphragms and everything so I might as well put them in all new gaskets I might as well put them in uh, all new everything only parts I don't have new are the carb I could buy a brand new carb but good luck trying to find one and they aren't exactly cheap so I figure with the knowledge you guys gave me plus the knowledge I acquired from the internet I'll be able to get this done at a later date one thing I definitely gotta do though is I gotta call the pet store tomorrow and let them know that uh, Oreo won't be in on Saturday to get his hair cut because this dumb fuck's gonna be working and that uh, I have to push it ahead till next Monday when I'm off hopefully they have an opening because fluffy bitch needs a shave right puppy yeah you need a shave you're looking like you look he looks fat but he's just fluffy so right now I'm just waiting for this thing to read 425 so I can drill my chicken into it and then it's chicken time this is gonna be good two four six eight ten twelve pieces of chicken ah 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 can I count? I didn't count that right. There's 13 there. Yeah, it's 13 pieces of chicken. Wow. Damn it. Uh, it is what it is, but this thing should ping any time now, and then I'll drive the chicken into it. And then uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and see what the guys are up to, see if we're gaming tonight. I really don't care if I go to work half cocked. It's whatever. You know, I go and walk in there all sleepy and shit, and we're yawning on the phone. Fuck, I'm at that point now where I just don't care anymore. I just don't. And some people will say, just be happy you got a job. Well, let me explain something. Oh, time to put the chicken in. Let me explain something about this company I work for. They are so desperate to hire people that they actually went down to a local park where Pokemon Go has, like, a, gyms and stores and all sorts of other junk set up. Went down there and put down lures to attract people to come to the park and then we're handing out recruiting forms. So, if you really need a job, a call center will hire. They are desperate for staff. It's just whether or not you want to put this thing through that much torment and quite possibly go insane. That's your call. There are definitely jobs out there. But usually when they're begging for employees, you have to question the quality of the work. Just saying. Anyway, we'll check on that chicken in a bit. I want to go see what the frig is really going on with the guys. Yay, yay. Oh, she's smoky, smoky out here. Let's go see. I said see. Shut up. Chicken dog. Let's see if the chicken's done. And why, yes it is. Would you look at it. Holy shit. Friggin' chicken. It's gonna be good. Especially with some beer. Alrighty guys, we just finished uh, playing Grand Theft Auto and did some watch together, watched a couple videos on the internet. <coughs> oh, And it's getting kind of late and I'm getting kind of tired. So we're probably going to wrap this up shortly. Yeah, we will. Tomorrow i got to remember to call the pet store and cancel stupid's uh, date with the uh, hairstylist. What's he doing? I think he's going for a shit. Stupid? Where are you? I ain't going for a shit. So tomorrow i got to remember to cancel stupid's appointment with the hairstylist. Because, uh, I gotta work Saturday, so... Well, that ain't gonna work for me. Anyway, people, I just let the dog back in, and I'm shutting her down. So on that note, thanks for watching my video today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.